Hello and welcome to another video from the Micro Rooster. Today's topic is advanced hierarchies. Typically, hierarchies are relationships between attributes with uh, parent-child relations. Three types of unusual hierarchies called ragged, split, and staggered hierarchies. So today we're going to go uh, through the different data models that produce these types of hierarchies and how to solve them. This is not necessarily just a microstrategy solution, but I'm going to show you how to solve it and use it within MicroStrategy to tackle these kind of problems. So let's get into the first part. Let me just give you a little preview of what I'm talking about here. So I'm using Excel to show or talk about this problem because that's where I built my data. For the ragged hierarchy, we have a situation. This is a regular hierarchy. Here we have a VP. We have a director and two managers underneath him reporting to him. But we might have special managers that do not report to a director, they just report to a VP. In this case, which seems like a normal organizational issue uh, or structure, might produce a reporting issue. When we report on, if you produce a report for the director level, you're going to miss out on the managers. If you ask which, what are the, the VP directors, you're not going to see manager three results. There's all sorts of problems with a regular hierarchy. So what do you do? The first simple solution in your database is to include in your dimension the VP list, in this case, the VP, the top level, and just leave null the director level. Obviously, you are okay if you have managers on the report. You're okay if you have VP. You're okay if you have all three. You're not okay if you just have director. And you're also going to run into metrics situations because of this null right here. So once you're grouping by all three of them, this is going to produce a problem. So there is definitely a better way to do this. The better way to do this is create or code in in your dimension the skip level. So in this case, we create a manager director and a director of manager three is VP1. Or we can do it the other way around where we can say the manager for M1, M2, and 3 are director 1, director 1, and M3. That means the manager M3 is also a director, and that way we bypass the issue. Alternatively, we could just label it with other, and we could still, by doing this, produce the right results and avoid the nulls. So there's different ways to go about it in the data, and this will work with your metrics uh, efficiently. However, be careful with level metrics and relationship filters things get a little dicey there because in essence we're hard coding some of these uh, dimensions okay so let's go to my strategy in the web and here I created the original solution that we saw the simplified solution where there's a null which we said would not be our best option and what we did here with new manager new director I just hard coded the VP into the table and if you want to see that table, if I go to the data set here, and if we look at this table, this is the original one where it's null, and then where I went ahead and adjusted it, and I keyed in the VP1 under the new director column. So that was my solution for the ragged hierarchy. Now, as far as uh, split hierarchies, let's go here and talk about split hierarchies. Split hierarchy is a little, little bit different because split hierarchy is a situation where you have a parent, like airport in this case, with two children. It has passenger information and airline. Every airport is keeping track of the passengers and the airlines that travel through it. So it's natural to see a table called passenger airport and a table called airline airport. However, and here's the problem, what if the question that we're asking is, trying to relate passenger to airline. For example, if you ask the question, which passengers who flew through an airport used American Airlines, for example? In that case, what we're trying to say is we're trying to link passenger to airline. We end up with a problem here where we're going to get all the passengers that traveled through an airport, which has an airline, okay, that traveled through it. Even if the passenger did not fly on that airline from this specific airport. So we're going to get all the passengers of those airlines that use our specific airport. 
So in this case, we're just totally going about it in the wrong way. We're aggregating the wrong set. So how do we fix this? We need to find a common child in this case. And what we do is we treat passenger, airport, and airline as separate parents, separate attributes. We join them through one common attribute referred to as the hidden attribute because you really don't use it. It doesn't have a specific use because it's just a way to key your fact table. What do we do in this? We create a table with passenger, airline, and airport, which allows us to tally all the combinations and create a key column. A key column, now we go back to the fact table and we make sure when we capture an a transaction or we capture a movement of a passenger airline we capture airline flight say 61 on day September 1st and on that day who traveled on that flight and where were they going for example that way we're capturing not only the airline but the passengers in the same table so that way when we go and report about it if the question becomes which passengers flew on American Airlines through JFK, we can go ahead and create that kind of report. And this is just one example of many examples that you could think about where there's this odd kind of relationship between some children. Okay, so let's see that in action. I'm going to go here and see this is my old one. And look, notice my filter airport one and airport two. I have two airports. And I have through airport one american airline one and passenger one airport two american airline one the same airline but a different passenger if i use the old structure and i didn't have that connection between the airline and the airport and i just filtered on airport and say let me remove airport two notice that now i only for the correct version i'm only seeing airport one airline one passenger one for the incorrect version, it's telling me that both passengers has do, have used airport one, which is not correct. What is happening here behind the scenes, it's saying, give me all airlines that went through airport one, which is one and air, airline one, and then give me all the passengers that flew airline one, regardless of the airport they traveled to, which is why this is the wrong answer. Here, it correctly captures that. And if we look at the data, And this is the incorrect passenger. And this is the corrected where we key in all three of the elements or we tally all the information in one table. Okay. All right. So finally, the last type of uh, odd hierarchy is the recursive hierarchy. The recursive hierarchy is a situation which is common where you have a manager, for example, and an employee. But the employee might also serve as a manager for another employee. So in this case, what do you do when it comes to reporting? If you capture only the manager's list, you're going to be ignoring this last relationship. So we need to flatten the tables, we split the table into two. So we have manager, employee, and another manager level two employee. So this fact table, and this is, I mean, dimension, and this is another dimension table. So in this case, we capture this relationship, and this relationship attribute comes from these tables. This attribute comes from these tables. All right, so here we see the first or the simple solution when we said, show me the manager employees. Well, it did not show us E3 because E3 does not have a manager, but E3 has a manager that's an employee. When we created that separation in those flattened tables, we were able to report on the hierarchy accurately. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, short demo about advanced hierarchies. Thank you very much.